nice view. Nice little pavilion amphitheater. No services, no camping. No restrooms. There are some trails here. This is the Joseph C. Iverson Conservation Area. It's our first stop of the day. Uh, tucked back in here outside of Halifax, a couple miles back the valley. It's really pretty. Still some locusts up here at this end of the county. We don't have them anymore at home, but you can still hear them here. We're on the road. This is Boyd Big Tree Preserve. We're on the other side of the mountain now. We're going to head out to Fishing Creek Valley to the Memorial Lake next. Stop to check this one out. Take it all in. Get another nice amphitheater back there. And we got a map for the hiking trails. But when we come back, this is close to home. This will be a place we can come back to and do a little hiking. The AT is running across that ridge right there for all you through hikers. They're mostly through Pennsylvania already. This is mid August. They best be through Pennsylvania. Unless they're flip floppers, or I don't think many southbounders are here yet either. It's a nice little spot. We're going to go out the valley instead of take the highway to Memorial Lake. On the lake, walking out on the dam. Guys out there in the boat. It's beautiful. Coming to get us. I can't even tell if he's in frame. I can't even see it. The sun's so bright. Out of the gap. So, what we ended up doing that day was uh, going up 443. Instead of taking the highway 81, we took 443 up through and hit these parks in a row. And um, we kind of screwed up when we got the SWAT area. When we left Memorial Lake and got the SWAT area, we came upon it so fast we missed the one entrance. And then ended up having to come back around. And then we didn't realize they didn't have a park office. All they had, it, the park office for them is actually Memorial Lake. So it was just a, just a cluster. And then leaving there, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember off the top of my head where we hit, what we hit next. But, um, we ended up in some traffic, really bad traffic, like below Pottsville and stuff. And, um, when we finally made it to Locust Lake, as you'll see by the pictures, the exhaust from the car, we used a, um, we used an auxiliary, whatever you call it, storage thing on the back of the CRV, and the exhaust actually melted the act outside of one of the coolers, and like, the plastic was actually stuck to the metal frame, so, um, we avoided a disaster because the propane bottle was like right next to that cooler, and it could have been, you know, I don't know how bad it could have been, but it could have been really bad. Uh, we learned a lesson there, um, and that 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 storage metal storage thing that goes in the back of the CRV it scraped the entire trip so much that we when we came home from Promised Land, um, we ended up putting the thing in the back of the car just because it was chaotic. So. Um, but the first, the first leg, we, we tried to split it up into two days rather than have one big long drive and it ended up being two days worth of long drive. So we learned a lesson there too. So check it out. We spent the night at Locust Lake. It was a nice park. Um, we enjoyed it. 
even though we slept in a tent on the ground without our cots. It was a little rough, but, uh, you know, we made it work. So, carry on. We're on our way to Promised Land. One night in the tents, all these two old fuckers can handle anymore. Locust Lake State Park, where we're spending the night. Back on the road tomorrow. <laughs> There's a bicycle path that totally encircles the lake here. It's just below the campground. It circles the lake. We're going for an after dinner walk. It's the breastwork of the dam. These area. A couple, couple of fishermen. See around that corner real well. Partly cloudy. Look, we got a patch of blue here. Got some big puffy ones there. Some more white. I don't know. We're hoping for a clear sky because we thought we'd come here to watch the meteor shower tonight. We have a perfect view to the northeast. But, uh, Wait and see. We're going to go to bed. You know, it gets dark. And whoever wakes up first after 1 o'clock, we'll just stick our head out of the tent and see, uh, see how many stars we can see and whether or not it's worthwhile to come down here. But we're literally 10 minutes from the tent. So it's a short walk. We'll see.